Hello, everyone. My name is Mike Mills, and I'm the writer director of Come On, Come On. So the scene is between Joaquin Phoenix's character Johnny, who is an uncle to so tired. a kid named Jesse, who's played by Woody Norman. He has never had kids himself, and so in this film he's thrown into being the sole caretaker of this kid for a while, and has to learn parenting very quickly. And in the scene, they just came from their first night in New York City, and the kid outsmarted him and ate a ton of sugar during dinner, and they've come home, and he's trying to just get him to go to bed, and which is impossible. So in a way, it's almost like a romantic comedy, the story, like they meet, they have like almost like a meet cute, right? And the, and the love affair starts, and this is where the love affair starts to have complications and harder layers start to work in. I wanted to show a scene that seems unconsequential. The kid lied to me about their toothbrush. The kid ate more sugar than they know how to handle. The kid won't go to sleep. The kid won't stay in their bed. The kid keeps coming into my bed, right? Are you okay? My friends don't talk like me because I don't really have friends. I mostly hang out with adults. No, Jesse, no. Back to bed. I think all parents will really relate to that, and that happens a lot. But then the kind of deeper level that happens is maybe because of the kid's exhaustion or exhilaration from the sugar, starts asking all these kind of really intense questions about his mom, who obviously the Johnny character knows in a different way because it's his sister, right? And they start to get into the, these heavier layers, more complicated layers of their relationship. That's what I was trying to get to. Can you tell me about mom when she was a I said she was cute. He said, I heard about her boyfriends. And she ran away and she got in trouble all the time. And I heard that she got an abortion. And this thing that often happens to me as a parent, you're trying to share something intense and complicated with your kid and you just feel like you failed. You just feel like you did not do a good job of showing up or articulating something. No woman's body is um like it, 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 and maybe every person like you have the right <clears throat> of your own body and a, a woman certainly has the right it's like it's called the right to choose and actually this young little person has judo flipped you in like three different ways and you're just sort of knocked out by the end so i wanted to show that feeling of like being just stretched beyond what you know how to do. Watch your legs. Watch your hands. There's another really cool part to this. So that, that's intercut with Joaquin um, talking into the mic, right? He's doing kind of like his, his, he's a radio journalist and he's doing like um, his diary or something like that. He's trying to remember things and he's just discussing this night, which we're seeing. So the scene kind of plays out in two different times, right? When you see him, doing that part of the scene where he's talking to the microphone. We shot that like a day or two afterwards, and he's actually remembering and sometimes doing something that I wrote, but often just like his memory of what that scene was like. <laughs> 